let's, let's back at, into let's the look conversation at of the names and the big names yeah. in Parliament. Right. We have a total of about almost 69 of them, 47 yeah. NPP MPs mm -hmm. in this eight Parliament, exiting Parliament, 22 for the NDC. What is it looking like? Majority for the NPP. Uh, the the, MPPs, yeah, the majority uh, side, isn't it? Uh, MPs exiting Parliament, 47, as Alfred indicated. You also have uh, 28 who lost their primaries. They contested, they wanted to come back, but the people says, no way, no. go home. And then those who opted out, 19 of them, mm. perhaps they saw their loss coming or some who were just tired or maybe yeah. the people had seen too much fatigue yeah. and they had gotten tired of them. So they said, okay. And some could also smell <laughs> the, the defeat else. coming. Yes. So, so they said, but well, these are the notable names that are exiting parliament. So Sai Chime Sabun has been uh, the, the Swami Mugabe for a very, yeah. very long time in the Shanti region. He's been majority leader, minority leader at some point. He's been leader of government business, minister of parliamentary, mm. minister for parliamentary affairs. Um, I, I, re I remember him for all the nice English that he spoke and, yeah. the, and the arguments and the debates. He enriched the conversations mm. in the House of Parliament. He'll be sorely missed in parliament. Certainly. Um, in, in the last days of his of his MP ship, I mean, he, he was hit, you know, by his own people, pelted with pure water, yes. uh, you know, by sachets, and mm. people thought that, well, he had had his day, he should go, and all of that. But he, wa he was a good leader. And he was too. really surprised, honestly. I mean, that was the second time. So the throwing of pure water to hit him and the disagreement, open disagreement mm. against what they thought the party was doing to the constituents in Swami right. was the second time. In fact, when he was seeking re-election at the primary level, right. he had to take the likes of Alban Bagdin and some and, other key people campaign for him. on the opposite side of the yeah. political divide yeah. to go and campaign for him in Swami. Mm. So that was where he got the hint that, no, I shouldn't go again. He's, mm. Apart from Speaker Bagdin, mm. he's the second longest serving member That's of parliament. Correct. He's been in parliament since 1997. Yeah. It tells mm. you the longevity he has had in parliament, okay. the experience that he mm. has that he's currently taken away. But of course, had someone not left for him to come, he would also not have gained I, the experience. I'm looking that we at are the Swami magazine, now. and you know, recently they were relocated. Yeah. I'm looking also at the, the interchange that he promised the people, which is why he was pelted. Mm. But hey, uh, big, big salute to him. Mm. Also, um, <laughs> first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Joe Sewusu, has had his own set of trouble from the former constituency. Uh, at some point, he jinxed his party, went on an independent ticket, yeah. came back to join. You know, <laughs> he's, he's more like the main guy. He speaks his mind. Yes. Um, in the dying days of his parliamentary career, if you want to, he, he went to support COP Alex Mensah yes. uh, in, in that, in that uh, constituency for the primaries and mm. the people said, no, you can't impose. In case people uh, don't uh, recall who COP Alex Mensah is, is the police officer who was in the saga of the leaked ah, IGP tape. police tape. Ah, yes. The, yeah. <laughs> but the report is still not out here, yes. by the way. And then you look at uh, Dan uh, Kweku Boche, yeah. uh, MP for Kre, he's, he's going out now. One of Ghana's finest politicians. Finest well. politicians, great Absolutely. politician, great Absolutely. minister for information, minister who led the charge for us to have six new regions. Yes. Um, he's yeah. still on the Baumia campaign. I mean, yeah. you can't do without him. Former yeah. General Secretary Former of the General NPP. Of the NPP. Uh, big, big guy. Uh, very, very and, and this was the man who's credited for bringing in Dominic Nitewo from the Parliament. CPP mm. uh, or PNC into the, into the MPP's the fold, fold as a young parliamentary at the time. Mm. He's the master strategist. Yeah. Parliament is going to miss and him. And it's good that Dr. Baumia quickly drew him into his team mm. to help strategize how they roll out the campaign because he has won elections before. He's led the MPP to win an election before, so he's got the experience. Right. Plus, his local governance understanding of how things are done locally. That's, right. That's how come the current president made him local government mm. minister and in charge of the recreation of the six yeah. regions. Mm -hmm. So it's, mm -hmm. it tells you the experience he right. has as a politician. Right. Then we have someone attached here. Well, uh, uh, minister for Works and Housing one time, uh, a lawyer uh, yeah. for the Ken Crunchy uh, in the yes, election yes, petition. Yes, 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 election petition. And First election petition. Also, MP for Boko South. Mm. There's Joe Gatte, who wanted to be president of the Republic, Minister for Railway. Uh, he didn't, his party didn't choose him, mm. um, but he's been, he served as a candidate and saved it for the MP so many times. Mm. Um, uh, Charles Bisu is yeah. going to be in the stead, you know, as, as contesting the MPP the candidate the for, MPP. for the area. Uh, Joe Gatte served Ghana well. Also, then the effervescent. Kupra <laughs> Kuei Japan, as in Central, he opted out. He's yes. also been in Parliament since 2012 yes. or so. No, um, 2008. Yeah, 2008. Yeah, hearing yeah. that yeah. from the uh, Asin North. Asin North, and then yeah. it was Asin Central was created, That's and right. then he became. And uh, Business Mughal and a Firebrand, his health. And the NDC is thanking him a lot for his outspoken nature, using right. some of his clips, speaking again. 
against the current administration right. and Dr. Baumia, and NDC is wrong. Riding on the back of that, hoping but that he's dancing since if yeah, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cup of the NDC. Yeah. And what it means is that these are the number of people who are leaving parliament on the ticket of the NDC, but mm. they are not returning. 22 of them in total, 17 of them lost their primaries. Five of them have decided to say that, look, we've, we're we've had enough of what parliamentary, can, uh, parliamentary business we can yeah. do. We are bowing out. And here they are. These are the notable out of the 22, mm. starting from James Cloutier Veggie, very noted for being a member public of the accounts Public Accounts Committee chairman. Mm. I mean, unfortunately for him, people are measuring him as regards results of the Public Accounts Committee. They seem to only speak and warn and Caution mm. institutions that come before them, but to, as to whether they end up getting results, it's a different conversation. Reminds me of the Quite Smart Minister Era. Uh, 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 Eric Nambar Banana getting off, uh, stepping into issues. Yeah. Then you have the Venerable Clare to Savoka, probably the practitioner, uh, Tower, it reaches the debates and all of that parliamentary. Yeah. I mean, the standing orders are in his head and that of Chairman Sabo. Yes. So, yes. And then you have Kabna Donko, Minister for Power. Yeah. I think he's the only minister who was bold enough to make a promise and, and to say, I resigned because true. I couldn't achieve true. what the hand But he actually says that he achieved it, just that people don't believe that he achieved it. To resign. But he resigned. Then there's the man of Proverbs, the king of Proverbs, yeah. the Sanarigo MP, uh, Baba. Alaji you know, he's Bashu looking Fusini. different in this picture because yeah. he's not wearing the his hat. regular. Yeah. His, exactly. <laughs> That's ABF who said that he's popular. Uh, one of his popular ones is that. Uh, 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 you, you <laughs> no, I know one. He says that like, uh, when a goat uh, dies well, in the market, you, you don't, don't need, need to, to make announce an announcement. And, and then finally, <laughs> Alex Adumako Mensa Setra from Plains yeah. is one of the seats to watch in the Ashanti region. Yo. He lost the primaries. Yes. Uh, ADF Hussein lost the primaries as well, and Kwabna Donko also lost the primaries. Yes. Alfred. All right, and, Alfred. And, 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 and Setra from Plains, uh, the MPP uh, that's a candidate there is the son of the Omahe of the area. So, really, that's a place to look at. But, Kemeni, really, if you look at the numbers, we're looking about 69. In fact, it's actually 70 if we add the Amenfi Central because Peter Kwachiaka has decided not to contest. Yeah. Indeed. Right? So that means we have 70 out of 275 MPs in this 8th Parliament mm -hmm. who are not returning to the 9th Parliament. That's quite a number you cannot ignore, isn't it? Not? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we have no idea how many will lose through the main election as well. And so it's mm -hmm. a very uh, tricky situation, you know, so, so to speak. But let's take that conversation to Dr. Samuel Efri, a political analyst who's been with us for some time now. Doc, you've had the conversation, the quality of... The, the, the maturity of people we expect or, or the maturity of parliament that we have seen uh, for, for, for the last eight parliaments or so uh, will not be seen again in the ninth parliament. Uh, what could the impact be? You know, um, the number of um, these... experience and is leaving the scene, um, who affect the next parliament as usual, because the um, parliament um, is governed by rules and regulations. And mostly, if you don't have, a, um, you have not been there for a while, it becomes very difficult, even sometimes, to speak on, on issues on the on the floor. So, um, technically, it will affect parliament um, in terms of experience um, um, MPs that will be on, on the floor. Mm. Again, okay. you can also realize that Hello. Well, very well. Doc, I can hear you. Make that point. Yes. Um, also, you can also um, realize that when you look at the MPs that are coming, um, I think there is an improvement in the quality in terms of their qualification, in terms of even though most of them are young, you can easily identify that most of them, the educational background is, is of higher uh, level in terms of, you have to see most of them being lawyers, they have a master's program, at least. You can even realize a degree and other qualifications. So when it comes to the, the qualification in terms of academic, and most of them, both sides, I think the quality in terms of academic is very, very good. And I believe that they can learn faster very to well. be able to contribute to the, 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 Indeed, the parliament that is coming. Indeed, Doc, I'm going to have to let you go, but we've been having a running you know, conversation in the studio about the significance of the greater Accra region for the final rallies. Are we out on a ledge here or we are right on the money? Um, no, you well, you, you have to, you have to, you have to go and then be on that. <laughs> <laughs> Very well.
Oh, no, who didn't hear about so much for talking to us. Dr. Samuel Efri right, okay. is a, absolutely, is a political analyst. And Alfred, I'll try to get the last word on him from, from that one, whether or not we're on the ledge, or perhaps there really is a true significance to the greater Accra region for the final rallies. Uh, remember, it, it, it's, it's, it's Thursday tomorrow. True. Uh, it's, it's two days to the elections. Um, that There could be minds that could change, but in my opinion, the minds have already changed, isn't it? Well, uh, certainly so, and this is uh, uh, a swing region, obviously, so there's a lot to look out for uh, in here. This is Ghana Decides here on your election command center. We're also live on 3FM 92.7. This and many more is what you should be looking looking out for right from here on your election command center ahead of election day December 7. So stay with us every step of the way as we build up strongly to the December 7 presidential parliamentary elections. Appreciate you, Martin Esiedu Date, Johnny Hughes, and also Kemeni Amano uh, sat through with, with a uh, guest, and also uh, Martin Esiedudate, Johnny Hughes with a magic wall, and all the trends and the numbers. And I am Alfredo Kansi. This is your election command center.